right, well, it's time to put pen to paper now. November, if you didn't know, is National Novel Writing Month. And here to offer some tips on writing is local author Bob Jashanik. Bob, welcome back. It's so great to have you on the show. Oh, it's mm -hmm. great to be back. Now, you've written several books. Your latest, I love this title, Resist yes. the Red Battle Knot. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. You said it correctly as well. Yes, Resist the Red Battle Knot. Yes. Knots. Okay, good. Good. We've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about yeah. uh, the book and also uh, National Novel Writing Month. Okay, well, the book, uh, Resist the Red Battle Knot, mm -hmm. is a science fiction military thriller. Mm. Wow. And it's a sequel to one of my other books, which was called Beware the Black Battle Knot. What's so, as a you can see, well, it's a sort behind. of a, a mechanical suit of armor okay. in, the f in the far future, you know, super oh, high tech. Wow. And guys get in them and they fight each other. Oh, so <laughs> we need some battle knots. Yeah, we do. You know, like there Iron are days. Man. That would be great. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? That, which is the whole point of the book. It's wish fulfillment, right? What if you were empowered and you could just take out, you know, take care of business that when you're having a bad day? Sounds like a good one. Yeah. So, yeah, but I write all kinds of different books as well. I write mysteries and fantasy books and books for children and young adult books wow. and all sorts of things. So it's really something that I love. Okay. But well, uh, uh, let's get into National Novel Writing yeah. Month. You uh, brought some tips yes. uh, to talk to us how people can get started. Um, what uh, What do you think as far as people getting started? Um, don't panic if you're not started yet. Yeah, that's, that's a great <laughs> tip because <laughs> if you're not started yet, we're pretty deep into the month. And really mm -hmm. the goal of NaNoWriMo, which is the abbreviation for National Novel Writing Month, mm -hmm. oh is to finish a 50,000 word book by November 30th and Ooh. turn it in at that point. Mm -hmm. So it would be easy to say, oh, I can't do it, but you really can. You just have to set an aggressive timetable, figure out about how much it's going to take mm -hmm. for you to write each day in order to make that goal. Mm. So don't panic. Yeah. That's okay. great All advice. Right. So that's your second one, set yeah. an accelerated schedule. Exactly, exactly. Just figure out what you could do each day in order to, to reach that goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just hunker down and and make it happen. Yeah, I bet you need some ideas, obviously. So well, idea yeah. prompts. Exactly, What's that? exactly. Idea prompts are a great way if you're stuck or you're kind of spinning your wheels or you haven't started yet. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to come up with some kind of a plan for your book. Just look around you. It could be a TV show. It could be a, something from a magazine or something online or something somebody says to you in a mm -hmm. coffee shop or an object oh. in your kitchen. And it could just inspire you and you say, yeah, that would make, make a great book. What if? Yeah. You know? Uh, so that's a, that's a great way to sort of kick the creative process into gear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And you also say to start typing, even if it's just a couple of words. Right. Just get that process going. Right. Because sometimes, I'll tell you what, it can be very difficult. It can be intimidating, especially if you're on November 21st <laughs> in <laughs> NaNoWriMo and you're yeah. thinking, how am I ever going to get this done? It's not going to happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you can do it. And the best way is just start. Type a couple of words and you'll, you'll be on, right. your, on your way. Well, if someone has already started writing, like mm -hmm. Dawn, and then yeah. quit, mm -hmm. uh, what should they keep in mind? Well, we have <coughs> keep on pushing. I guess they go Dawn. Don't don't this let it you. fall That's by the right. wayside. Right. That's right. Don't <laughs> rest on your laurels. You know you can do it because so many other people have done it. Last year, for example, there were over 256,000 people who participated in NaNoWriMo, and over 36,000 of those finished their books. Mm -hmm. So if they can do it, you can do it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up. Right past the hate it stage. Mm. This is something that every writer knows about Could because it's some our point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what I'm talking right? about, then, right? Mm -hmm. You always reach a point where you say, "What am I doing? This is not working. <laughs> oh, why? Why did I do this? Why mm -hmm. did I go down this road?" Yeah. But it's an illusion. It's an optical illusion. It happens to everybody. It doesn't mean your book is bad. So keep writing past the hated stage. All right. Mm -hmm. And we have about 30 seconds left, yep. but we want to get to okay. your last two tips. Shake, Shake things, things up. up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come up with some crazy out of left field idea. That's a great idea. That's a great way to make your book different. Mm. And don't create a monster. Mm. In other words, you only have to write 50,000 words. Don't go off and go on all kinds of tangents and say, oh, this could write, I could, this could go for 90,000 words or 100,000 words. Cool. Give it a 50K. Hey, but then you could uh, end up with the next Harry Potter series or yeah, that's you know, right. the Battle Knot series, Some, right? Oh, lots <laughs> of these books have gone on to publication. <laughs> the most important rule of all, though, have fun. Uh, all right. Don't forget Great that. tips. They all are right. great. And we will have a recap on our website, too. So that's wonderful. TV. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. It's oh. been great talking to you guys. You Thank you too, so much. Bob. Thanks so much. Happy Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> well,